by considering interactions of many different elements within and across the farm, landscape, value chain, and food systems levels. SEAT in Asia undertakes scientific research addressing questions and issues along the entire agricultural path, from soil to plate. Insect biological control or, or, or biological pest control is one of the world's key ecosystem services and sometimes it's undervalued. However, they are very important in addressing a number of key issues in today's world. One key issue is invasive uh, pests or invasive species. One of those invasive uh, pests that SEAT over the past couple of years has been tackling uh, is an invasive mealybug. This pest, SEAT, FAO, IITA, and several of our national partners, this pest we've been addressing uh, by beneficial insects. By releasing in 2009 Anagirus lopesi, a parasitic wasp that attacks the cassava mealybug. The wasp was released in 2009 in Thailand, subsequently introduced in Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam, and in 2014, a, a box of, of those parasitic wasps were handed over from the Thai government to Indonesian entomologists. Biological control is a tailor-made solution to tackle pesticide overuse. Biological control, one of nature's prime ecosystem services, represent change and transformation. With today's CIA 50 butterfly release, we embark upon a campaign to bring about change in Asia's agricultural landscapes. SEAT and its national partners commit themselves to pursue efforts to drastically lower the use oh. of pesticides and hey. other uh, environmental so, so. pollutants in Vietnam and its neighboring Asian countries by fully relying upon nature's best control services. What is our strategy or vision for the climate policy hub? And this can be summarized in three words. The first one is to link. We want to be the interface between the science that we produce in Seattle and climate change and decision-making processes in agriculture, both in the private and the public sector. Second, we want to think. Within Seattle Asia, we will be through the Climate Policy Hub, the Center for Economic and Policy Analysis. But importantly, we don't want to stop there. We want to be the place that integrates the different research areas and, and tools that we have at, at SEAT, including, for instance, our biophysical work, to be able to provide comprehensive guidance and support, evidence-based support, to climate policy. Third, we want to sync we want to synchronize the scientific output we produce in climate change with the needs of our partners. We want to tailor the knowledge we produce to their needs by providing the right information to the right people in the right format. And we do that through developing decision support tools 
and uh, building capacity. In Vietnam, we cannot talk about SEAT without mentioning about Cassava's story. This is one of the most successful story of international cooperation. Until recent years, 1990s, this crop was neglected with few thousand hectares and had almost no significant economic value. Farmers grow for their local need time to greet and the continuing effort of from scientists of SEAD in cooperation with breeders and farmers in Vietnam. Productivity of cassava has been doubled for the last years. Cassava becomes such important export crop after rice and the buffet, providing jobs and income for million farmers and bring to the country annually more than $1 billion. SEAT has contributed significantly to improvement of animal production and in livelihood of thousands of smallholder farming families, especially in upland areas. SEAT has been linking farmers to market especially farmers in remote areas of the country through addressing combination of technical and marketing measures. Improvement of market access, profit and the livelihood has been observed for many communities for a range of products including cassava, live, livestock, also fruit, vegetable and others. Through linking uh, organized farmers, whether they're organized in a cooperative or whether they're organized only around the value chain, uh, uh, that, uh, that can make a huge difference. secret of SEAT is the we have a great support staff, we have a great scientific research group, we have a very strong board, a very strong management team, but more importantly we have a very strong partnership. The Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development and all Vietnamese partner look forward to another 50 year of full film population with SEAT. Our ministry will extend support to SEAT as necessary in order to for the center to fulfill its research for recruitment mission in Vietnam, in Asia and in the entire recruitment world. Thank you very much.
I wish in the future, Tatas and Siat will continue to join and to work together to move forward for the world tropical agriculture development. Today we signed the MOU and after this, we will have many activities to activate the MOU. And uh, we hope that we can have a good uh, collaboration and we can bring uh, a lot of things and good things for our students and our staff and also Vietnam farmers. As we look to the future with the challenges and opportunities, Empire stands ready as a trusted and valued partner to join SEAT in continuing to ensure rural communities are best placed to meet the challenges of tomorrow and thrive to help deliver the future that Vietnamese and those from other developing nations deserve. With SEAT, we suddenly fell in love with frameworks. SEAT brought frameworks in our lives in how we do things, in how we think, in how we look at the future. We can say that it is a nearly perfect marriage. With Siet's expertise and Amelia's resources, the strategic approach to building climate resilient agriculture and fishery livelihoods in communities were made complete with the implementation of component projects that systematically address and support the needs of the most vulnerable communities and livelihoods. SIA develops and offers high potential science and technological solutions, while UNDP can strengthen institutions. The cooperation between Vietnam and SIA first started in 1991, and since then, 120 cassava varieties has been introduced to Vietnam. I think the future of humanity rests with the people here. The issues that you are tackling with your research will literally determine the future of our species, Homo sapiens. If we cannot work out how to grow more food and better food and to share it more effectively using less land, less water, less energy, less nutrients in ways that stop polluting the atmosphere, then humanity has a problematic future. So I wish you well for the next 50 years and we've enjoyed very productive relationships in this country and this region and that remains a very high priority for the Australian Government and for ACO. 50 years is an opportunity to look back but even more the 50th anniversary is a chance to look forward. Look forward to I think a future, an important future. The world and this region face many challenges and we believe that SEAT working together with you can make a small contribution to solving some of these challenges. So in the years to come and in the next 50 years there will be more of SEAT. What we can promise to Vietnam and to all of you who are here is we'll continue to grow and most importantly, we're going to grow with you. Thank you very much. <laughs>